time to resume the exciting uh, adventure of the checker here. In my absence, uh, Corey drove the thing and it clogged the fuel filter instantly, which should sound familiar, but much worse than the motorhome. It was like, what, like two or three minutes, he said? Oh, yeah. It was like, it was like terrible. Like, I, it wasn't even, the lift, the problem was the lift pump was just getting backed up immediately once it wouldn't go through the clear uh, carbureted filter to feed the surge. The lift pump was getting backed up like it couldn't push through the dirt. Like, it was junk. And it just went to hell. So... I got pissed off, and you can't buy. You can buy a checker tank. There's some website that sells like old stock, but it's like seven hundred dollars for a checker tank. I'm not gonna deal with that. So I got a '65 Mustang one for fifty nine bucks, and uh, and I got the four. It's actually the same resistance for the sender. I checked it, but for whatever reason, my gauge isn't working now. But I did check both senders, and they're like exactly the same. It was a Ford style, like where it's like seventy to ten. It's like backwards or whatever. But anyway, yeah, I just. The problem was, though, I didn't realize, this fits in the floor fine, I used these huge self-tappers, but this, the uh, spare tire used to sit here, well, I'm not too good with metal work, but uh, I just put a jack under the floor and smashed on it a little bit, and uh, this trunk floor was shot anyway, you saw it, it was like kind of beat. Yeah, you can still see some of the so, holes like right there. But then I, I was ultra pissed off the other day, and um, I just drilled a new hole for the filler neck. But I'm waiting on a silicone coupling. It was supposed to come today. See, I drilled a new hole, and then all we need is I got a 45 coming. You know, it should go right into there. A long silicone 2.25 inch. So I can just go right on here, into there. Still use my return here. And then I got a Nixon bumper sticker coming for here. Cover that up. For whatever reason, it's only running like six pounds of boost, this car. Because I already had it out. But that's like... Uh, we didn't know what, you know how they sell those Chinese wastegates, you don't even know what the, uh... Yeah, the, normally it's like 30. Yeah, you don't, yeah, like the, the one Chinese wastegate I got for the Tempus was like exactly advertised, like 18 to 20 on the gate. This one was advertised, I think, 14, it makes six. But luckily I ran two vacuum lines up already, and I got a brass T now, so we'll, we'll connect the top and the bottom together and still have a reference, so it's maybe it'll make 12, and if it doesn't make 12, I'll just pull all the vacuum hoses off the wastegate and it'll just run off the pressure like the back pressure on the spring versus back pressure in the exhaust and maybe that'll make 12 or 14 I don't I kind of changed my plan with this car I don't think I'm gonna go nuts with it like we're just gonna drive it around the reason this Mustang fuel tank worked is because they just like lay in the trunk they're the they're the actual floor of the trunk in those cars yeah, and were, and pintos and stuff like that too. safety was like a real big thing back then like they they thought this would be real safe. So, uh. Yeah, so like he's not, he, like the tank's not laying in the trunk. I don't think he just like threw it in the trunk. This is how it is actually installed yeah. in the Mustangs, too. This is a factory style installation minus the crooked self tappers. This is exactly well, how yeah, it would be installed in the Mustang. The reason I put all those self tappers in, because the floor was like pretty far away here. So I would just like draw on the floor up. I'd do like one at a time, real gently, and just pull the floor up. It's terrible, but it doesn't. You put a piece of carpet over this, it looks factory. Yep. You know. Yeah, it's funny because everyone says like like Pintos pull up when you rear when you rear end them, when all the Fords had that same fuel tank design back then. What sucks is that silicone coupling didn't come today because it was two and a quarter. I ordered a special one. Like we could have had this shit together in four seconds, but I guess we'll just drive it like this. I'll yep. just put some gas in there. I'll get like a couple gallons of E85. We'll go to the station. Just throw a nice rag in that hole and call it a day. Yeah. I got a only thing is the return off this. I extended for now. Let's have to jam that in there. Hope it doesn't fall out. We'll, we'll know if it does when we're on fire. Corey's putting a final beauty coat on the oil pan. Seal it up good. Don't want to lose any oil because that's the oil that's going to stay in that motor for its life probably. Plus I don't have an oil pressure gauge. When you see the smoke in your rearview mirror, that'll be your oil pressure warning. Yeah. Maybe I should just put like a Zerg fitting on the oil pan and we get to pump it full of grease. So, might be better off.
<laughs> That's our like the That was quick. <laughs> Alright, so we have the alignment's perfect. <laughs> How far away the seat is. That sounds terrible. <laughs> hanging in that new bag. Time you get on, it feels like the, feels like the hover ends coming out. It's leaf. What should I do? Just plug that that off? Yeah. Brakes, rear brakes still feel a little strong. Perfect. Yeah. Needs boost until they cost. It does feel better that it makes more boost now, but it's like hitting the cut. That's why that shit was real bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like real shit. Uh, if the crank didn't fall out, it's not that bad. Turning good RPM. Yeah. Yeah, it's decent. Like, I can't believe how quiet it is actually. I was kind of figured it'd be hard if we ran it all the way out. Yeah. Appreciate inline motor, no big cam LS. Yeah, inline shit's not bad. Yeah, that Colorado radiator's working. Yeah. Well, it's not real hot.
Well, we connected the top and the bottom of the gate because I ran this other line up. It ran like way too much boost. That's why it popped out of the driveway earlier. So I plugged it back off, but now it, it seems like it's running like 11, 11, 12 pounds of boost now, I think. Maybe 13. Just feels like shit. It feels like, it I mean, it doesn't, it's not slow, but I thought it would like maybe spin the tires, like the street tires, you know, like when you're rolling into it first gear. I think that's about the end for this for now. Uh, it runs and drives. It's not that quick. Yeah, it doesn't even want to do a burnout for shit. Well, I think, uh... It runs and drives, it's a beast. It's not yeah. perfect, no, just, everything good with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody always says, yeah. everybody does a build on the internet, you, you, it, they'll tell you it's the best thing Touch up built. the tune a little bit. I'll <laughs> tell you, it was a waste of time. <laughs> oh, a waste of time. <laughs> but you know what? It's still a pretty cool car. I'll cruise it around. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. I don't know. It's hard to tell if it has anything to it What's or not. What's weird though is it doesn't want to keep like you think it would like come past that threshold and knock those tires off just there. I, think I know it's the, a little poochy. Yeah. Like I had it flat. I had my foot through yeah, the floor. No, and then and you jacked it too. Yeah, I, I kind of like bombed it. it. <laughs> I kind of bombed it down from reverse. Can't get past me. Yeah. Well, it could be those 11 inch rear drums. Yeah, they're big. But. They are big, but. I think the the bias is way towards the rear. The brakes feel so touchy, like yeah. like the drums are locking up. But either way, it's just kind of over. how you can freaking we struggle with that, but a TBI truck 11 inch brakes, you can feel the yeah, you're through a five, it's 700 a R. It's yeah. a turd. Because you got that short, you got short first gear. It helps. But Andy's, Andy's, <laughs> no, no, just... Andy's was stronger. The 350s were way stronger for burnout. So. Well, like you said, you might take it, take it to the track and see what happens. Yeah, just for fun. I'll hold my feet out of the way because we did the tra you know the trans is all jacked up the way we did that. Well, that'll give you an actual indication if it's complete junk or not. Maybe I'll like. Well, I mean, it's it's complete junk either way. It'll give you an indication if it's actually fast I'll or not. I'll pop the hubcap off. Like I'll bring the hubcaps. We'll have them on the car. <laughs> I'll pop them off. Set them on the. I'll set them on the tunnel next to my feet. So when the trans, let's go. I think the only thing to take it out. Is try the one, two, and see the third down the second time. What? You need almost like shift. Yeah. Two, see the I want to get the filler neck fixed. No, start um, leaning on it. We gotta go with like 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, we have a light tune up in it. Yeah, we'll just bullshit everybody. Yeah. Yep. That's what everybody does. I know. To yeah. shift total garbage and they're like, yeah, tune up's light. Needs a little more tuning. They add one degree, yeah. it blows the head gas, gets out because it was already right on the now. edge. Low boost, low timing. Yeah, low boost, 13 pounds, and then <laughs> high boost, 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have more updates on this as it develops. Right now, it's running and driving. And we're just it, gonna it, use it. It, yeah. it does drive nice. Yeah, it needs an alignment, but it's actually not, like, it's cool to hang your arm out the window wait for shit to fall off. It's pretty cool. It, it rides decent. Like, it, it's quiet. A lot more than it should be. Yeah. And it cruises a nice RPM. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like it's, like, like ringing itself That's out or anything. That's because I a four-inch downpipe, got underneath the floor, and then I went right to three. <laughs> but three's fine for this. I mean, it's not making any power. Yeah, there's no muffler or anything, though, too. It's really, it's not, nice. it's really not loud. The exhaust turned into, like... A real hack fest. I mean, it came out nice under the car. You saw I did. I, I hung it nice. Now you're going to dig out your heavy core in it. Yeah. No big deal. We'll get out of the garage. <laughs> yeah, get out of the garage. Yeah, some more on this later. Stinks in here. It's all moving. Yeah, it's junk. Sounds nothing. That fuel's old.